Farron here from Ground Force Miniature Studios and today we're going to be uh, painting the cloak from this um, conversion I done last week and uh, I'm going to show you how I paint it with the airbrush. Okay so here we go. Okay I'll start with a base coat of um, Scorch Brown. just mainly working this into the creases. Just onto the dark areas. And we've got a small piece on here. Using Scorch Brown or Charred Brown, whichever one you're happy of using, uh, I find that it helps with the uh, the red, and uh, that way you get a, a nice blend. Okay. Have it, that's it. On that stage. Okay, gonna move on to the red now. So uh, what colour I'm gonna be using is the old um, Citadel Mechrite Red. And I'm just gonna load the brush up back in five. Okay, so we're going to put on the red now. It may look a bit watery, but I want to build up the layers on this edge part here because I want it to be uh, quite light. So I'll just wait for that to dry. All this part of the, the, the actual red leather will all be masked off for when I actually spray everything else. So just put even coats on there and then you get this nice blend between the actual um, pre-shading with the uh, scorched brown. And just spray down in one direction, keeping all the coats even. And if you're you're wondering, the size nozzle I'm using on the airbrush, it's a, uh, it's a 0 0.20. Okay, the next stage is just going to be the um, highlights, and we're going to use Evil Sun Scarlet for this. So mainly, this is all going to be done on this edge here.
that's pretty much it. I'm going to probably hit this with uh, some uh, mud colour at the bottom where it's just got dirty through battle and that way it just adds a little bit more extra realism. So on here. I didn't actually hit this bit with the mech right red so I'm just using really light bursts. Just so that it doesn't look too bright. Okay, that's it for that part of the uh, tutorial, and uh, I'll see you in the next section. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Hello, is we're back again with another instalment on this cloak. Um, sorry about the intermission earlier. Didn't really know what I was doing, but uh, I've actually uh, come up with a plan now. So what we're going to do now is basically we just put a final highlight on here in this orange colour. It's very, very subtle. It's just to give a little bit of showing to the edges and nothing more. Okay, so well, I'm going to get started. So we're just going to be starting along this edge towards the bottom and around here, and that's it. just hitting it extremely lightly hardly any pressure at all when pulling back on the airbrush it's just to add that little bit of extra redness to the bottom and what we're going to do also with the airbrush we're going to get some brown paint just going around the edges as well you may think oh it's a bit pointless putting this orange highlight on if you're going to cover it up with brown yeah but at least you know the colors there that's the main thing. Oh yeah, we'll just have a bit near the top here. And that's it. That's all we're doing. Okay, so there we go. Why not? Let's put some on here as well. A lovely flavour. Nice. So the next colour we're using for the mud is this colour here from the Panzer Aces range, actually called light mud. Okay, so in the next section, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sealing all of this now with some matte varnish. I'm not going to put any washes on or anything like that. This is purely to actually help me uh, mask all this leather area off that I've painted because I'm going to be spraying all the fur on the back of the cape. Okay, and this, same with this section on here. I'm not too worried about this at the moment because um, we're going to mask all of this part of the of this wolf pelt off anyway and I'm gonna actually paint the actual torso of the Terminator in time. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna get my, uh, it's basically some old Hannant's flat my varnish. Okay, I should get this mixed up and be right back. Okay, for this next stage, we're gonna be um, masking off the uh, cape. And I'm going to be using this uh, Winsor Newton art masking fluid. Basically, it's latex fluid. And um, what we've done previously, as you know, I've actually um, base coated this in a scorch brown. Just gone over, and then once that's dried over, I've gone over with mech white red. And basically, the brown is uh, giving us this depth of darker colour. Also, I think we went over with it uh, with the um, Evil Sun's Red all over and on the edges we used a bit of orange paint as well just to give that little bit of extra brightness to the edge and then finally went over it with a, a splatter effect of mud around the base of the cape. Okay and then after that while I was off camera I uh, just gave it a blast of uh, matte varnish. Okay so I am going to be masking this off now. Don't use your best brushes, 
because this stuff will actually will ruin your brushes so just find an old one like this like this old GW brush and uh, we'll get cracking and just show you how you use it and basically just on your brush and off you go that's what you're doing and it takes about 10 minutes to dry Master it on, there's probably enough there to do the entire cloak. But I want to be cautious, I don't want to have any brown overspray on any of uh, the cloak. So I will be just completely covering this. And when it dries, it dries clear. Shit. Right, I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, the mask is on, just waiting for it to dry now, and that's going to take, like I said, about 10 minutes. It dries clear, and I'll see you in the next bit. Okay, the uh, mask is almost dried now, so I don't think this can stop us. So I think we're going to carry on painting this now. So for base color, Using the old Citadel foundation paint, calcium brown and Kenry brown. Okay, here we go. So I just liberally spray this all over. As you can see, the old calcium brown is not as rich and dark as the, its replacement, Mornfang brown. So I really favour this this colour a hell of a lot, especially for doing pelts and uh, large areas of hair like this. Because as we've got the masks on here, you don't have to worry about obliterating any de of the detail because of the, of the work you've done because you've masked it all off previously. So you can just basically slosh it all on and you really have to work the paint in between all these little bits of plastic, whoops, you have to work this all into the little bits of plastic because the nature of the design, you know, it's, you, the more you look the more grey areas you see and you want to cover all of these grey areas and, and really not rely on a wash to actually uh, to hide it for you so that's all we're doing is basically getting all of this covered in calcium brown okay that's it apart from this bit almost forgot Okay, we're just going to let that stand and dry now. Okay, on with the Kenry Brown now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just hold it at this angle. And I'm just going to spray down into this section here. Basically what I'm doing here, I'm highlighting the tops of, the, of these quills, the matted fur, and then afterwards I've got the painstaking part of doing it all by hand for the tips. So you can't really see it all that well on here, but that's the general idea of what we're doing. It's, it's just this. Here we go. 
wolf tail there. I just highlighted these areas on the wolf's arm, tail, part of the pelt, put it on one side, bring over the other part of the wolf pelt. Color here of this wolf is more of a summer wolf. I mean, you can do winter wolves, which is more your greys and whites and blacks. Well, that's pretty much it. Okay, we'll probably run some black through this as well at some point. Hello, next part is going to be just a little bit of dark shading with black. I'm just going to be working this around, just around the, around the bottom here and towards the middle and, and that's it. a mess but at the moment I've got to put more highlights on all the fur, I've got to touch up all these individual little quills by hand and it uh, should be looking good after that he says and then on this part black stripe going down the back of the wolf and let's probably have a little tip black tips on the ears and on the side of the muzzle like so there's another ear done okay so just a little recap on what we've done we painted the uh, cloak as you can see there. I'm going to be touching this all up with a mixture of uh, calcium brown and the shabati bone. I'm going to do a, a mix of that and just bring it up gradually in lighter tones. And when that's done that should look okay. And then I'll of course I'll peel, I'll peel this off now just to show you. Effective, the uh, liquid mask can be. See there, all your work that you've done is all untouched by the other paint. Uh, this will be the, the real. Charm it there, look, there you go. Absolutely swear by the stuff, and if you haven't got any, get some, it's not expensive. That bottle there costs about four quid, and it'll last you a lifetime. So brilliant stuff, that's looking good. And of course, like I say, I've done calcium brown all over, then um, over again with um, Kemri brown, and then very light on the black, hardly pulling black back on the trigger. So that way you get a, a lighter shade of black if that exists, but I think you get the gist of what I've done. So less pressure, the less paint gets um, pushed up the airbrush. And there you have it, it's looking good so far. So what I'll do next on this part is this all this area here is going to be masked off all over the top, ready for painting the Terminator and that's going to be done in the next part of this uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, comment and like.
Thanks very much, bye, guys. Bye.